he has to respond. He has to respond. Like, like there's no excuse right now. He has to, he has, he has to respond. Um, because the reality of the matter is this. He doesn't have to respond now or tomorrow. He can take his time. But he must respond. Because Drake, this is bullying now. He is constantly just poking. He's constantly poking. And right now, bro, even that bum-ass weirdo Kanye West is now even in the mix. You see, for Kendrick, this is what people have to realize. Do you know what it is? It's similar to Eminem. People say, no, Eminem, he's like the battle, he's the best like battle MC ever. And then you say, okay, he is, he is, he is. And I say, wait a minute. Is he? So is he the best battle um, rap MC because of what he did in 8 Mile, which is a movie? Is he the best battle rap MC because he beats Benzino, a guy who isn't in the top 1,000 rappers of all time and really is a pattern rapper because really he was an owner of a magazine? And we all know that Pace One beats him in a rap contest. You know, Pace One, the rapper, he, he beats him. So the thing again is like, so, but, but we just believe the myth. Same thing for Kendrick. Oh, Kendrick is the boogeyman. It's the boogeyman. Oh, no. Don't say, don't say Candyman of Kendrick. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. But say, wait, hang on. You know that's control verse. The best rapper on the verse, do you know it was actually Jay Electronica? Okay, he went out, guys, saying, okay, I'm number one and everything, but you went in a battle. You just said I'm the best and no one went after you. So, okay, we've not actually seen Kendrick in a battle, so why is he the boogeyman? We've just le been um, led to believe that he's the boogeyman because we just keep being told he is. Shout out to Drake. I told you, see, I don't take Drake seriously as a rapper, although he's a very good rapper. I don't take him seriously as a rapper, although he's a very good rapper, but I respect what Drake is doing. He's coming out here because he doesn't have to do this. Remember, this is one of the biggest artists in the world. Not rapper, one of the biggest musical artists on the planet. So he is coming into hip hop and saying, here's me rapping. So it's a flex. It's like, I can do the singing thing. I can do the musical thing. I can do the dancehall thing. I can do the, 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 the reggae thing. I can do the whole um, electronica thing. Oh, I can also rap, rap as well. And I could also make rap hits and also do lyrics Kendrick you have to respond you see that AI thing I think that is brilliant marketing you see people say oh my gosh that's that's so cheesy or like you know it's so weird hearing Tupac and no you, you're missing the whole point the whole point is he's mocking Kendrick by using Tupac and Snoop Dogg and getting them to pretty much poke fun at Kendrick and he now gets onto the track He's mocking Kendrick. So Drake is like, yo, Kendrick, come on. So, Ken so guys, you have to realize this. Kendrick has never been in this situation before. He's never been in this situation before. And for me, if Person X is battle-tested and Person Y is battle-tested, even though Pe Person Y is an amazing rapper, I'm always going with, I will, if I had to put money, I'll put money on Person X. Because Person Y, that's a bad bet. Because I just don't know what they'll do in a battle. I know they're good. All because they're good, it doesn't mean they'll do good in a battle. I think Faramonch is one of the most skilled rappers of all time. Faramonch is he's one of my favorite rappers of all time and one of the most skilled rappers of all time. Watching him live, it's like, it was, it's one of the most extraordinary things you'll see. I wouldn't put money on Faramonch beating, um, beating Drake in a rap battle. Faramonch is... 10 times the rapper Drake is. Based on just pure skill, the ability to rap, um, Fermunch is 10 times the rapper that, than Drake. Fermunch is one of the most skilled rappers of all time. In a battle, my money would be on Drake over Fermunch. Because battle is just something different. 100% of course, Drake is a very good rapper. Drake is a very good rapper. Kendrick is a better rapper than Drake. Of course he is. When Kendrick wants to rap, what's he Kendrick rapping at his best, Drake rapping at his best, Kendrick is superior. He's, he, he is better. Like, go listen to Kendrick on The Recipe with um, um, you know, Dr. Dr. Dre. That is, so, that is top tier, elite tier one rapping. But this is a different field. This is a different field. And 
you can see Drake is ready. Drake is ready right now. And nobody has been... Kendrick has never been clowned like this. This is the... This is good kid Mad city. This is to pimp a butterfly. This is down. This is that guy that is doing all this big stuff. The biggest rap. Like, Kendrick is the biggest rap artist. Drake is one of the, is the biggest artist as a whole because he's a hybrid. Pure rap. Pure rap. Kendrick is number one. So Drake is saying that I'm, I'm the hybrid. The rap community doesn't um, take me seriously. I'm not going to go for rap's golden child. Rap's number one. I'm the hybrid guy. I'm the cheesy guy. I'm the I'm the I'm the cheesy corny ladies man. Not to be taken seriously. Surely the cheesy ladies guy can't beat rap's numero uno. If Drake wins this hip hop takes takes an L. Because in realize Drake has never released a rap album and Drake will never release a rap album. So Kendrick, as the number one rap star, you losing to a dude who has never released a rap album, that's an L on hip-hop. It's an L. It's an L. So, look, we await Kendrick. And you see, for me, Kendrick's on the clock. He don't, Kendrick does not need to rush anything. Because, you see, what you don't want to do is what that Rick Ross guy did. Rick Ross, oh, no, no, I'm sorry, that's rushed. Based on what's it because Drake, that took time to, to put that that took time, but now it's out there, Kendrick. You have to respond, you have to respond. Now, Mal is saying that apparently there is a Kendrick album coming in May, cool, but Kendrick must respond because this is the thing, Kendrick. You're the guy with the control verse. You're the guy who released the like that record. So you have initiated this. You see, this was different between Nas and Jay-Z. We weren't, Nas didn't have to respond. We didn't even expect Nas to respond. We thought, Nas, you should respond. You should respond because this Jay-Z guy is clowning you. So you should respond to stand up for you. But he didn't have to respond because that's not just what Nas didn't initiate anything. He wasn't like, oh no, I'm the best, Jay-Z's a loser. He didn't really initiate anything. So because Nas didn't release a control verse insulting everybody, he didn't release a verse like that saying, oh, I'm the best guy, yo. No. Jay-Z was the initiator. He was the aggressor. Kendrick has been the initiator and the aggressor. And he was the guy that says, boom, yeah, what up? Without that, like that verse, Drake doesn't re release push-ups. And look, not right, look, I don't know, the, the, the truck's high. <laughs> the truck's high. The track, the, the, the track side. Get down and give me 50. <laughs> that weird voice of this. Drizzy, man. Look, I've got a hand to, to, to Drizzy. You, guys, you can hate Drizzy all you want. You can hate Drizzy all you want. He has thrown down the damn gauntlet. He has thrown down the damn gauntlet. says, I won't smoke. I'm not docked anybody. You have to admire him for that. For, I told you, I'm not... I am I'm, I'm more of a Kendrick fan than a Drake fan. I am I am not a Drake fan. Thank me later. I think it's a classic album. That is an amazing album that I have on my playlist. But I'm not a Drake guy. But right now, Drizzy is winning. Canada won Compton zero. Compton, you need a, a damn equalizer right now.